the engine was was found with the assistance of a of another Frenchman in, in 1943 and picked up Dad when he parachuted to, when, he, when his parachute landed and it was Dad was quite badly burnt and he hid him in a forest covered in leaves um, because the, the Germans were sort of swarming to where he was landed. Dad never, of course, knew this boy's name. He just referred to him as a boy. But uh, he passed away last year at 94, so that was really how the engine was found and, and how it was linked to, to Dad. Just to think that that engine effectively started... When he first flew it, he was a mode mechanic from Invercargill. And when he finished, he was you know, a national identity and basically all of his bravery awards and his escape story and all those other stories revolve from behind that engine. So just in itself, uh, it's, it's quite emotional in many respects, yeah. So because it was a British aircraft and it was uh, embedded on French soil, there were certain clearances that had to be obtained. So we had to talk to the Ministry of Defence in the United Kingdom, technically it was still one of their aircraft, uh, and the French authorities also had to agree to uh, the aircraft being removed, or the wreckage being removed from France. So once we got those clearances, uh, the rest was really just an exercise in logistics. We entered into some discussions with Pierre Ben uh, uh, by email, um, about the beginning of last year uh, and it's taken quite some time to get us to this point we're thrilled to be in the position that we've finally received uh, the engine the reality of it at long last um, by itself it's quite significant of course because it's johnny checkett um, but it's also part of a much bigger picture as well and that is that there were a lot of new zealand airmen who were shot down in the european theater uh, most of those didn't make it. Uh, many were fortunate enough to be able to walk away, like Johnny in this particular case. So in a way, whilst you're looking at the engine and it's specific to Johnny Checkett's uh, aircraft, it's also representative of all those downed New Zealand airmen who served in that theatre and that makes it pretty significant.